What's up? My name is Maddie Mullins and I sing for a band called Memphis Mayfire and this is how music saved my life. I got into music from a young age. My mom took me to a lot of concerts. My brother was a solo artist. He still is. He lives in Nashville. So I grew up watching him play. He was a big influence of mine. Uh, but yeah, I just I come from a very music oriented family. Um, and I was lucky enough to, to have it from the beginning, you know. So I always knew this is what I wanted to do. Uh, when I was about 15 or 16, um, bands like Showbread and Embodiment and Blindside and uh, you know ba bands like that were coming through my hometown. I'm from a small town called Spokane, Washington, and um, my buddy invited me to go to a show downtown. So I went and uh, just felt the the exhilarating energy that the presence that no other show ever had. It was maybe 50 kids there on a tiny stage, but it felt bigger than any arena, uh, more powerful, more emotional than anything I'd ever experienced before, and that's when I fell in love with heavy music. You know, I've, I've personally been pretty fortunate throughout my life, uh, and, and there's a lot of things that I view happening to people I love and friends of mine that um, I've never gone through personally and I've always felt like it was important to write songs about those things when I see them happen because a lot of people do go through those things and I think that music should be used as an emotional outlet uh, to, you know, to get emotion out whether it be anger or um, you know, uh, suicidal thoughts or whether it be happiness, whatever it is that you're using music for, I think that it should be an outlet for emotions and um, so it's incredible to be able to write songs that give kids that you know that message. Um, I've definitely lost one friend to suicide and some family members as well. My wife lost an uncle to it as well. Um, it's terrible. Hon honestly, it's. I just did a, a photo for a friend the other day. His name's Carlos. I held up a sign that says "Suicide." Uh, you know, doesn't. Uh, make uh, it, it eliminates the the chances of life ever getting better it doesn't you know uh, eliminate the chances of it getting worse I think a lot of people see um, you know suicide as an escape uh, they're just like you know if, if I'm gonna feel this way or if this is how it's gonna be then I don't want to live and it's so important to always remind yourself that no matter what is going on mentally that you say it's going to get better I know it's going to get better there is a light at the end of the tunnel I know anybody who's ever tried to commit suicide and failed has said I'm so happy that that didn't work, that it didn't follow through with that because uh, life did get better and as long as uh, people know that I think that the suicide rate will go down. Life gets better. If your life sucks and you feel like you're in this hole and you're never gonna get out, um, chances are life isn't gonna get much worse than that, okay? Like you're in that spot right now uh, but what can get worse is abandoning your family and friends, the people that love you and making their lives uh, hell because you chose uh, you know what I believe to be a very selfish route uh, you know uh, suicide is, is terrible for everybody involved and uh, I promise you if you just stay strong and you stick with it life does get better and what a waste of a beautiful life you know everybody has a purpose here on earth I personally believe everybody is here for a specific reason and if you give up you'll never find out what that is